Hi guys, it's Ruth from Viva Del Toro, and I'm here with a little unboxing of the brand new color of teaks. It's called Ultraviolet. So you probably know that I'm a big teaks fan if you follow along on this page. Um, if not, I have a blog post that shows my entire collection of teaks. I have I think over 70 pairs now, so I do a lot of um, color comparisons when new colors release. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. So the Neon Teaks came out maybe four or five years ago. Um, it was a collection of Pop Pink, Galactic Green, Outrageous Orange, and Unmellow Yellow. So this year we saw a brand new Neon come out. They only re-release the Neons in the summer usually, and a new one came out this year called Ultraviolet. So I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, it got here a couple days ago, but this is the first chance I've had to sit down and make a video. So here we go. So it looks like it's coming with its own signature flower. Uh, the other neon colors came with a special edition flower that is a sort of a rainbow of neon colors. Um, I've got a blog post about all of the neon teaks um, that I'll link you to. And you can see that flower. Um, the flowers are sort of like a collectible if um, you've been kind of around teaks for a little while. So this one comes with uh, a purple flower. I'm not sure if this is different than the standard purple flower or not, but mine came with a purple flower. So. Um, it's going to come with the care card. Um, there's special care that needs to be taken with patent leather teaks. Um, I don't know if that's in the card, in this card or not, but um, if you have patent leather teaks, you, or patent leather anything for, for that matter, you don't want to store them touching anything else. So you wouldn't want to store, say, um, a, a pair of yellow patent leather or light purple patent leather next to something that's dark because you can get color transfer. So just be careful when you're storing your teaks. There's usually a care card that comes inside to let you know that you need to be a little more um, careful with them because you don't want color transfer because it's permanent. There's really nothing you can do about it besides um, maybe take it to a cobbler or uh, to dye it a totally different color to mask that color transfer. So, okay, here we go. So this is ultraviolet. It is a neon purple. It's beautiful. Okay, so here, so it's showing on here a little pinker, I think, than it is in real life. So it definitely has pink undertones, but it's more purple, if that makes sense. So violet, I feel like, is a really good description of these um, ultraviolet. Okay, so they're definitely showing pinker than they are in real life. So this is them. They are patent leather. Um, patent leather for teaks is a full grain leather. Uh, they have different kinds of leather. Um, they have either a top grain or a full grain. I love their full grain leathers. Um, the majority of their shoes are full grain. And, um, and then it's coated with you know a patent leather finish so they're shiny. They are wipe clean. If you don't know how to care for these, you would just kind of wipe it with a, a damp cloth uh, when it gets dirty. But there's you can't polish patent leather uh, teaks. A lot of people ask me about that. If you are really hard on your shoes, patent leather is super durable, but you can't fix scuffs. If you were to like trip and get a really deep scuff, there's really not a whole lot of ways to fix those besides the paint. So keep that in mind um, when you are shopping for your shoes. So I'm gonna do some side-by-sides um, with these. Uh, just so you can kind of compare and contrast them to similar colors. Now, I think a lot of people are probably going to want to uh, compare this with lavender, and I thought I had them, but I don't. So, um, sorry, that is the very pale purple patent leather teaks. I don't have those. Um, I do have lilac, though, so I'll show you. So this is a true deep purple, a top grain leather, and this is ultraviolet next to it. Okay, so as you can see, um, it's definitely showing pinker. I feel like it's a little bit more purple in real life, but neons are like notoriously hard to photograph in video. This is next to Lavender Snake. Then I'm gonna take you, okay, so you're gonna wanna see it next to Pop Pink. This is neon pink, definitely pink, although still it really doesn't capture on video um, the the true color of how bright that these are so this is pop pink next to ultraviolet i'm going to show you next to outrageous orange 
next to Galactic Green, just since we're doing, just running through the neons right now. Next to Unmellow Yellow. And then here I'm gonna go through some pinks. This is next to Razzleberry. Uh, this is a pinkish red color. You can see that. Also a patent leather. I'll show you next to Fuchsia. This is a top green. So those look similar kind of on camera, but the ultraviolet is definitely a little more purple-ish. Definitely more violet undertones. This is next to Cotton Candy. That's another patent. This is next to Ballerina Pink, a full grain. I'm just showing you the ones in the pink family. And then I'm gonna show you it next to Rose just in case anybody wants to see that. That is a metallic finish, but it's also a um, full grain leather with a shimmer. So there you have it. I'm gonna write um, a blog post about these. Um, a lot of questions I get on patent leathers are, are they true to size? I find they are true to size. I'm an eight and a half, nine in most shoes. Um, all of my teaks are nine with the exception of Mojave, I had a size up in those, and um, some of the vegan pairs. Not Greystone, but the other vegans, I have to size up to a 10. So they don't stretch. So um, I ordered these in a nine. Um, I will let you know. I imagine that they are going to fit um, all of my other teaks and patent leather in uh, classics and prints are all nines. So um, I don't doubt that these are going to fit just fine. So um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I will get back to you.